What's up folks? Welcome to Woodworking Against the Grain. We're going to make a walnut and cherry picture frame today. Here we are cutting our walnut and our cherry wood to rough length. Cutting this over on the miter saw. We'll get this cut down to the length we want to start with. After we get it cut, we'll take it over to the planer. Give it a few passes through the thickness planer to get it down to the thickness we want and also to smooth up the edges. I want you to take a look at what planing this does for the grain of this walnut. It really smooths it up, makes the grain stand out. Also gets this wood down to the thickness that we want it. We'll take it over to the joiner after that and joint the edges. What this does is it makes a good perfect 90 degree angle between the edge of the board and the face of it. That way if you have to put two boards together to glue them up, you've got a good straight glue line that you can't hardly even see. So it's always good to joint the edges of your work to make a true 90 degree angle between the face and the edge there. After we join it, we'll rip them down to the width that we wanted on the table saw. Picture frame is going to be, it's kind of a large picture frame, so it's going to be, the edges are going to be about three inches wide, and we're going to put a, a cherry inlay about three quarters of an inch wide down the center of all these pieces before we put them together. Here we're taking just a round over, quarter inch round over bit in the router, rounding over the edges of this cherry that's going to be our the piece that we inlay here in just a few minutes. Now we're cutting a groove. This is a three quarter inch straight bit that we're just cutting a groove down the center of this walnut so we can uh, to make a channel for our inlay that we can glue that into. This is going to be the piece of the cherry that we cut off to make our inlay out of. We'll cut four long pieces of this to fit into our channel. And it's going to give this picture frame a little bit of character, I hope. This is the first picture frame I've tried to build, so it doesn't, it's not going to be perfect. I hope it's usable anyway. But I learned quite a few things making it to, to not do next time. And here we're putting some Type Bond 2 wood glue in this channel that we cut. Type Bond 2 is pretty good wood glue. It'll set up pretty solid in about an hour or so. And allow you to work with, you know, finish the project pretty quick. Type Bond 3 uh, gives you a little bit more working time. This sets up tacky in about 15 minutes. So you have to have your stuff pretty much ready to go when you put this glue in. It dries pretty fast. We're putting this cherry inlay into the center of this walnut. Now we'll just clamp it down and let it sit there for an hour or two before we finish this project up before we cut our miter corners and put this thing together. These are four pretty good spring clamps that will help hold this inlay in the bottom of this channel till we get it dry. Now I've got the straight bit back in the router. This is the rabbit which will make a ledge for the glass to sit in. Now we're mitering the corners, cutting all these all four corners at a 45 degree angle. Once we get those four cut, we'll begin to try to piece this thing together and make it look like a picture frame. Here we've got it in the band clamp. I've got the edges glued. Get, if I can get this clamp to stay on, this is a good band clamp that, that uh, will hold these things together till the glue dries and tighten up the seams. Once you get that tension just right and the corners matched up like you want them, you just tighten that up and let it sit there till the glue dries. Now we're putting on a little clear polyurethane is a finish really does a lot to this walnut in bringing out the color and the grain and also make that cherry clear and there it is finished wouldn't it look good with a picture of me in it thanks for watching come back to see us